Hi, good morning. This is Wendell Scott, publisher at Yardman Press. We have done some videos about growing tropical foods for Jamaican households before. Today we're going to go in another direction uh, with another, another example of tropical crops that can actually do well in subtropical Florida, in Jamaica, and actually in some parts of the northern United States. Today we are featuring yams, tropical yams. This is an example of Dioscoria alata for them to grow in. Here, over here we have an example um, of this is a white yam. They typically emerge from the ground. They have a long dormant period. They will stay dead over the dry season and whenever the rains come, they will start again. So this one I planted earlier and it's already climbing. You notice this one wraps around in a counterclockwise fashion. They have varieties of yam that are classified according to which way they wrap. Okay, let's move on. Here's an example. If you could get close with the photographer, I'll show you something. This is a yellow yam, as I mentioned before. This is a yellow yam just emerging from the ground, just coming up. It also needs a place to climb on, so planting them by a fence or with a stick dedicated for them to climb on is a good idea. But you'll notice the yellow yam uh, has thorns on it. That's one we are telling um, in a, a yellow yam plant because of the thorns. The white yam doesn't have it, and the, the yellow yams don't grow as vigorously. And moving onward, we, I mentioned before that yams grow well in a loose, friable soil. So again, with our theme of taking advantage of materials that are readily available, here we live and on the verges of, of an oak grove of oak trees. They produce a lot of leaves and actually they're not very good for some type of plants that yams don't care. So we have prepared a pile of oak leaves. You know, it's been rained on and wet. On me here, I had I had previously dug a hole. Okay. Here. This hole we're going to fill with a mixture of potting mix and oak leaves. Right here we're going to add some potting mix to the oak leaves, mix it up and set the seed yam on top. Because one of the things about how yam is propagated, unlike potatoes where you need an eye, a yam goes from anywhere there is exposed skin. So, going back to our sample, this piece of yellow yam, come in close. We're going to cut this section off. Doesn't matter how it is, if it's pretty or not. You are supposed to disinfect the cut piece with either ashes or something called a bordeaux mix which is um, a mixture of copper sulfate and, and, and uh, lime but just plain old ashes you get some ashes and you rub this the, the cut piece in this piece was already cured so okay this is what you're gonna plant Here we go. We got our mixture already. And we build up a mound. Because again, the yams grow downward. We build up a mound mixed with dirt. Mixed with dirt. And we set this down like this. We cover it. I'll add more. I'll, I'll add some more dirt over it. But that's start of a yam here. Okay. Some yams produce actual bulblets that grow on the vine above ground. Some yams don't. But 
Again, easy way to grow a crop that provides complex carbohydrates, proteins, everything you need. Your entire tropical religious system based on growing yam. Enjoy growing. We love you. Bye. Discussing earlier, we are dealing with two types of yam today. This is the white yam and it will grow from the uh, piece of the actual yam I showed you. It will sprout from here. This is a piece of yellow yam. Uh, it's been there both have been dipped in 10% solution of bleach and tap water to kill any fungus spores that can actually damage the plant as it goes. So this yellow yam we're gonna plant. First we're gonna create what we call a yam here. Yams like to go downward, so they start up here and they go down. Soft to the earth, easy for them to grow the bigger they go. And they like organic matter. So we're gonna add oak leaves from our pesky oak tree. They're gonna actually serve a purpose here. First, we fill this pre-dug hole with oak leaves. They will break down eventually into good dirt. But to feed the process, you're gonna mix in some cotton mix, which is you know, good stuff to start your plant. Okay, we add a layer of cotton mix. And I spread it around. The pollen mix already contains bacteria that will get to work breaking down the oak leaves. Add another layer of oak. So that's what we said we're gonna do, make a yam here. And because the leaves are gonna settle as they decompose, we actually make a hill. Grass, leaves, any organic, cow manure, goat shit, whatever. Any organic content you can add is a plus. So, to top it off, in this case, we're just going to add some more potted mix to make an actual hill. Cover the oak leaves. All this will absorb rain and be a nice cold medium as we go along. And the pH de resistance, we plant our yellow yam. In this case, we plant them sideways because the sprouts will come from the sides. Cover it with another layer of compotted mix and believe it, yams are timed to wherever they originate. Yellow yam comes from Jamaica. This will sprout when in Jamaica it's time for yellow yams to sprout. Most of these yams are tropical. But they have varieties that are, that are adapted to cold weather. You can grow some Asian yams, Chinese yams in pots, a five gallon pots up north, wherever you want. But it's an easy plant to get from. Thank you. Yardman Press, visit us at www.yardmanpress.com. Thank you.